Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to use the VP Rentals Grids widget for Elementor. We showcase this widget in our demos. You can see it in the Tuscany demo. This is a section created with the VP Rentals Grids widget. The widget will display the listing categories. You will be able to create sections in your home page or other pages and display the categories from your site. Next, I will show the steps that you need to take to add the widget in a home page. On this domain, I have already imported a demo. And next, I will show how to edit the home page and create a section with the VP Rentals Grids widget. Since the page was created with Elementor, I will click Edit with Elementor. I will create the category section here. And the first step is to add the widget in the page. I will look for the widget. This is the one with drag and drop. I will add it in the section where I want to display it. And now I will start making the settings that I want. In content section, you will have the option to select the grid type. You will have six types to choose from. Also, you will have three design types. You will have the option to select the category that will be displayed. You will be able to manually select the categories that you want to show and you will have other settings. First, I will select the category that I want to use. I will select city. Next, I will set the grid type and design type. I will keep type 3 with design type 2. Here you can select the city categories that you want to display. If you leave blank, all the city categories will be displayed, but you can select only some of them. So I will select random ones just to show how this works. You can see that now only the categories that I selected from city category will be displayed. I will remove them and leave all categories. The next option, hide empty, refers to the categories that do not have listings assigned. If you have categories that are empty with zero listing assigned, if yes will be selected, then those categories will not be shown on front end. For the next option, you will have order by. You will be able to order the categories by name, ID or count. And you will also have this option to order categories. The last option here is for the number of items to show, but this number depends on the type and design that you previously selected. Next, I will go to style section. Here you will be able to change design settings. You will be able to change the item's height. I will add a value here. Also, you will be able to change the border radius. You will be able to change the form column gap and the rows gap. Next, you'll have typography. Here you will be able to change the settings for the text shown on each category. You will be able to change the title typography. Next, you will be able to make settings for the position of the text on the image. These options apply for the tagline typography. This design type does not include a line type. I will go back to content and select design type 3 so you can see how the settings here apply for these elements as well. So you will be able to change the typography. Also, you will be able to manage the listing text typography, which is this one. I will only change font weight. You will have the options to change colors and make other settings. Next, in the advanced, you will have options for the section layout and you will be able to make other settings. The widget can be easily set up to fit your needs. I will save the changes made. I will go on the home page. I will refresh the page. And this is the section that I just created. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.